This is a PG-13 video, meant for individuals over the age of 13. If you're not 13, go away! Hear me out for a second. You said he was all damaged, right? Like he got the snot kicked out of him in a 1v1? Seems to happen to him a lot. Guy's resilient, I'll give him that. Then that weird little flat thingy behind his mask appeared? Well, here's my theory. You have a lot of theories, don't you? More than you can imagine, lady. So I'm thinking that flap, it was some kind of solar panel to help him power up or something. But it, it appeared to recharge him after that fight. Maybe. Who knows? It looked really goofy, though. <laughs> so, Miss Noretta, you mentioned you had him uh, set up some sort of follow-up hangout after this? Yeah, but it's been like three years. I, I don't think it's happening. Yeah, definitely not. Sorry, lady. Looks like you got stood up. Happens to the best of us. I would say that there's plenty of cross-dimensional hero paladins out there, but, uh, there aren't. Looks like you're out of luck. Wow. Harsh. Well, I think that pretty much covers everything, right? Unless there's something you want to add? I don't think so, just... Is he doing alright? I just want to make sure, you know? I'm gonna be honest with you, Miss Noretta. I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. And if there's a problem, you can count on Ash Niso to solve it. <laughs> it's funny you're the one to find him. You guys have a lot in common. Well, I've got a really big interview planned after this, so I can't keep talking to old ladies. I'm not old. I'm actually pretty young, but whatever. Bye, Miss Doretta. <laughs> Friends, you're listening to The Faceless One Unmasked. Broadcasting live from my new studio. This is yours truly, Ashton Iso. Listeners, I've got the coolest interview yet. Up next, I'm queuing him now. You've definitely heard of this guy, controversial as he may be. There's no denying his significance to the world of vigilante heroism in the last few years. Savior of the city I'm broadcasting from right now. And the bane of bad guys everywhere. Introducing... Renzoli and Alexander Contras of Langaria. Yeah, whatever, it's me. No big deal. I do this interview thing all the time. Um, if my records are correct, then this is actually your first live interview. Uh, I'm a big fan of the show. Really? Yeah, it's fun to, um, listen to you stalk an old friend. Anyway, how are you doing? Um, I'm, well, Renzo, I'm supposed to be interviewing you right now, okay? Nobody cares about Ashton Iso's story. They want to know about the Faceless One, a.k.a. Camellio. No, oh, I'm sure a lot of people get a real kick out of listening to a vaguely gendered preteen talk about conspiracy theories. Just ask me the first damn question, okay? Okay, then. So, the first question is to ask you about what happened at the Rocky Royale. I don't want to talk about it. Next question. Okay. Then I wanted to ask you about your father. Oh my god, next question. Hey, uh... You doing all right today, Renzo? Okay, it's been real hard these last few years for me. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm screwing up your interview. I get it, I just... Tell me about the time you saved the multiverse. That's an easy one, right? Oh, oh man, I've told this story a million times. I got this one in the bag. Okay, so basically... And, you know, 
try to stay objective. Objective? A 100% unbiased account of the story. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be tough, but I think I can do it. I know you can do it. Where do you want me to start? From the very beginning. are uncomfortable, man. Almost as uncomfortable as this giant fist in your face! So the rumors about you guys are true. You flippin' suck at aiming. Oh, frick, no, we did, no, we did, no, I just, I just stole his infinity gun from, from some collector guy. Everything's <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> no one can understand you. <laughs> Now I've just got to make sure the tractor replicator is synced with the Gaelic emitters. Oh, Starlights, where did that go? And I was so close. Oh, oh, there it is. And the oh, 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 this one. Okay, if everything works correctly, this should adhere to whatever strand of space-time is traveling to or from. Once I have the grip of it, then getting the creature here shouldn't be a problem. So then if all goes well, then we're about to see some serious shit! We, we have grip over the creature! Now, I need to pull it into this dimension quickly before it escapes. Rumors say 
that the creature is remarkably dangerous. I remember when I was a child and visited here. Everyone was terrified, but not me. Not me because I knew its true nature. That it wanted to help. Whoa, 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 what the freak? What? 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 Okay, well, what the? Who the freak are you? Where the freak am I? You got some explaining to do, buddy. Yes! Yes, it worked! All these years paid off! <laughs> Professor Gabriel Eon at your service! Hi, I'm Camilio. What the heck did you do to me? I'm all tingly. I summoned you here! Why, what the heck is wrong with you? No, 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 calm down, my friend. Allow me to explain. Everyone just calm down. What do you know? And who the heck even made you mayor? No, I'm not- Listen, Peric, you're a good dude. And we know that you're trying to make things fair, but the fire sets need all the attention. That's not- Look at this low-level flub asking for everything! And I said would never do anything so low. We don't ask for everything. We just take it whenever we want. That's not much better. Excuse me, Captain Hoity-Toity over here. You dare. You bet I friggin' dare. You flippin' ice sets are all the same. Ooh, I'm ice. I read and do all that knowledge thing. I deserve all your praise. Forget you. Better than another hot-headed, self-absorbed mud bud. Freaking mud bug? What the heck? And what's up with freaking cape over here? Yeah, you look like a freaking snowflake Jedi. How dare you insult my robe? Okay, guys, just relax. This is why the fire set should get the remaining resources. We need those parts. We have several sets. Missing legs and arms. It's necessary that we have those parts. That's why there's a problem. Everyone needs them. Just not enough for everyone to get all the parts they need. So then why even try? Best to just complete one faction than to have a dozen half-finished broken ones. That just isn't- And so you think you should be that fraction, Aestrak? When the fire sets could really use it better. The ice sets are obviously the most intelligent. Everybody, stop! That's it. Have fun dealing with the chores, Pyrrhic. The fire sets ain't gonna be part of this new f useless government. Neither will the ice sets. We shall establish our own government. Oh, that's original. Expect a message from the ice sets, Tahu. Oh, you want to go to war, buddy? War with you would be a waste. Then I declare war. You dare. You bet I stinking dare. I'll enjoy ending all of you ice jerks. No, stop. We're better than this, aren't we? All right, yeah, so I got this awesome, like, green light set up here and everything. And it looks great, but, you know. Oh, yeah, also, this freaking crap right here. So I, I was coming downstairs, right? And then there's this, just right here. And this is what my, like, my mom lets my brother play on here, and he's always making these cardboard things, like, and I mean, I want to take them apart, because obviously he puts a lot of effort into it, but I mean, like, what is this? What even, cars, I don't, I don't know, okay, I don't know, but it's like, every, like, okay, you should have seen the last few weeks, man, there's this giant box right here, it was, he's crazy, I, I, I don't know, but, in, yeah, I would destroy him, but I don't want to hurt him, oh, yeah, you know how I've been, like, losing sets recently, too? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I just lost Bruchaka. Dude, that, really? That freaking sucks. Yeah. Freaking 30 minutes before I'm leaving to Virginia, I lose Brutaka. Well, um, is your brother? Did you, like, check? Uh, I checked to see if, if he has him, and I can't find him anywhere. So, I mean, if he has him, he's hiding him, like, in the walls of our house or something. Like, oh, yeah, I sent those rocks that you needed. Uh, the red and green ones? Okay. Yeah, the red and green. Yeah, awesome. Red, wait, no, you're green and white, dude. No, it's, green. what the frick are you talking about? It's red and green. You better have sent me the right rock, rock sheet, dude. I'm gonna freaking no, kill sorry, you. Sorry, man, I sent you the, the white and green ones. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm pretty serious. Okay. But, yeah, sorry. Wait, what, when I need to get going, dude. Yeah, okay. Soon, because that's 30 minutes before we leave to Virginia, man, and I cannot be late. Yeah, alright. But, alright, I'll see you later. Okay, sounds good, man. Bye. Coming. Is it finished? Yep. Finally. Am I normal? Well, you'll never be normal, per se. Oh, shut up. Yeah, you're back to the way you're supposed to be, Matto. Yes, finally! Thank you, Carzoni! No problem. Thanks for helping me fix the shop. No problem. I did kind of smash it.
Yeah, you know, you completely total the store. It was kind of awful. Gavuli just smashed into it. It's kind of a jerk move. I mean, I know. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. Things are back to normal now, right, Matta? Matta? Great, we've lost him again. Ugh. Let's go find it. What was that? No, the dark. I hate the dark. Must have been a lightning strike that caused the power to go out. Lightning? In the summer? Well, the weather has been strange lately. Guys, I'm having a mental breakdown. I can't stand the dark. Come on, dude, chill. The dark can't hurt you. No, not the darkness itself, but the creatures it spawns. The monsters that thrive in shadow. The creatures that crawl from the crevices at night. That steal you from your bed at night. Chill out, dude. There aren't any creatures in the darkness. It's just your imagination. You don't know what I've been through, man. Hey there. Ah. What the? Who? What the heck, dude? Don't creep up on me like that. It's pitch black out. Oh, sorry, yeah. I hate thunderstorms. So loud and scary. I love them. The chaotic boom of thunder. The beauty of lightning bolts. Yeah, they're the greatest with all those scary, loud noises. Okay, so why did you come over here again? No reason, I'll be leaving now. Bye, I love you, never mind, bye. What just happened? Ugh, stupid weather. In stupid darkness, today's the worst day ever. This is the best day ever. The weather's beautiful, the sun is shining. Ah, this is just what I needed. Man, I love trips. I love going somewhere new and weird. Packing up, sleeping in hotels, swimming in pools. Man, I can't wait. Hey, when will we be at the airport? I love flying. Ah, what a day. What a day. Day, what a day! My life's work, my studies, everything right before my eyes! Great Scott, I'm getting ahead of myself! Okay, okay, okay. You must be very confused right now. I am. My apologies for that. There was no possible way for me to warn you. You see, with the fact that no one can track you and you see... <laughs> Never mind. My name is Professor Gabriel Eon. Wait, 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 I already said that. I, I truly do apologize. I am quite the mess today. Prof, get to the darn point, man, because I have better things than this to do. And I'm seriously considering sending you to the nil dimension, buddy. The nil dimension? Great Scott. Get to the dang point, bro. Oh, yes. So I'm guessing no. Yeah, I know you don't remember this. But 40 years ago, you visited this very dimension! That's funny, because I've only been around for like 3,500 FD fractals, or 15 years in your time, pal. And I've only been saving the multiverse for 10 years on top of that. Great Scott! This proves my theory correct! Not only can you travel between dimensions, but you can time travel as well! Oh yeah, I can. Dang, I guess I could have visited you 40 years ago. So. Roughly 40 years ago, you visited here. I can't remember the specific- Oh yes, I was going to get hit by a hover car, and you saved my life! So ever since then you were obsessed with finding me, yada yada yada, well here I am. Somehow you managed to pull me into this universe and that's great. But pal, I gotta go. I got better things than this to do. Camilio, I can help you. I can fix your watch! Ha! <laughs> I'd love to see you try. I consider myself pretty handy. I mean, I'm the only one there to fix myself up every time I blow up or something. Even after working with the darn watch for 10 years, not even I can... Hey, how did you know it was broken? That's how I was able to bring you here. It was weakened, so I managed to pull it into this dimension. It was giving off quite the signal. Space-time was warping around it. That's also how I located you, due to this disruption. Still, what makes you think you can fix it? Space-time re and reality warping is my specialty. I basically managed to create a small dimensional portal in this very room. I'm certain I could help you fix your watch. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. There's a catch. There's always a catch. What do you want in return? Yes, of course. I merely want to study the watch and... 
Think of all the scientific discoveries I could make with access to the multiverse! Hmm. All right, Ian. Ow, crap! My freaking leg! That hurt! I told you, Renzo, you should have let me knock down the door. Shut up, I thought it looked cool. It didn't. Frig off! Hey, stop! What do you want, Pyrrhic? Don't you think it's a little ridiculous to declare war on someone after an argument? I mean, we're supposed to be united as a city right now, man. Ha! Huh. Don't you understand? Unity is impossible here. Everyone looks out for themselves. And in society like that, the guy who tries to help everyone is the guy that dies. Goodbye, Pyrrhic. Wait. One chance. What? Just give one more chance for peace. Later today, I'll schedule a meetup between you and Strack. Just give us one more chance to figure this out. Fine! If that doesn't work, you can consider the ice sets extinct. Ugh, we need to find Matau. Are you crazy? I'm not leaving home base! That definitely hit the garage. Oh, crap. Wait! The garage, I remember! That's where Nuja went before he... Aren't there people in there? Yeah, the others. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Sometimes parts will come to life. You mean when sets are built? No, scraps, pieces of sets, parts that were accidentally put together. Sometimes these things will come to life. Back when the officers were in control, they would force these creatures into the garage and would send weekly checkups on them. That stopped when Nuju passed. He would always make a point that he needed to check on them. He didn't like it. I mean, from how he described the others, but he was the only one who would do it. And now a freaking lightning bolt just hit the garage. Okay, I'll go check out the garage. You find Mattown. All right, sounds like a plan. Wait, I'll go with you, Leela Nuva. From what I've heard from Juju, the others can be dangerous sometimes. All right, let's do it. Listen here, Professor Eon. If that's even your real name. I'm pretty sure that's his name, Renzo. This guy lied to us. How can we be sure he's actually a scientist? We are literally standing in his laboratory right now. Take this bottle, for example. It says Diliac Acid on it. I bet it's just grape juice or something. Watch. <laughs> See? Grape juice. You disappoint me, Renzo. Gentlemen! I am not a gentleman. Shut up, Renzo. You sound like an idiot. We had a deal, buddy. I get you that leaf you needed, and you turn me into a beefcake. Well, I never got that strength potion in the mail. Wait! You actually thought you could get strong by just drinking a potion? Ye yeah. Oh, I thought you were joking. I freaking told you, Renzo. Wait, joking? Yeah, it's just that sounded like such a stupid price. I figured you were being sarcastic. You overestimate him, Eon. Are you serious? Wait, who's that fool? Who the flip you calling a fool? Fool? Ugh, whatever, Eon. It's time you got what came to you. I don't think so, pal. No one's dying on my watch. And your little trash can there should turn around and leave before things get shifty. Who the heck you calling a trash can? Now things are personal. It doesn't concern you. Step aside. I ain't stepping anywhere. Oh, it's on! Renzo, what the frick, dude? Now you're gonna get it. Take that, you frick. Oh, gross, gross, get it off, 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 get it off. Yeah, nice one, Steve. Come on, dude. This is pathetic. What technique is this? Drunken idiot? Wait. I think I'll call it the Rangus. Dude, shut up, man. You're so freaking annoying. Who even are you? Yeah, Renzo. I am your father. No, you're not. My father was an awesome adventurer who saved people. Well, 
He must be pretty disappointed in you, man. That's it, man. You don't know nothing about my dad. He was a good guy, and I'm not gonna let you or Jira or anybody tell me otherwise. If he saw me today, he'd be proud. He have to be. He has to be. Whoa, dude, relax. You relax. Stop. Let's listen. Let's just stop and talk this out for a second, okay? Beyond talking at this point, dog. Wait, let's just hear the man out. Okay, thank you. I am very sorry I couldn't give you super strength from Zolian, but that's fantasy, scientifically impossible. You- However, I am on the brink of something far superior. We're listening. There is a certain mineral that lies deep within this planet. It emits a force of energy so strong that it bends reality around it. Whoa, stop right there. I, let me finish. If one could get their hands on this, they could use it to bend reality to their will to the point where they could have control over time displacement. You're saying that if someone smart enough found this mineral, they could time travel? Indeed I am. Holy crap, yes. Oh my gosh, here he goes. Would finding this stone involve... Adventure? I assume it would. Danger? Certainly. Beating up bad guys? Seeing as the mineral was just found, you could expect many greedy bad guys to try and get their hands on it. Yes! This guy literally just lied to- Shut up, Geode! This is adventure. Just like what my dad did. Imagine how proud of me he'd be if I did this. I will do it. I didn't offer you to do anything for me. Oh, come on! But would the two of you be interested in finding this stone for me? Obviously, you are a Zolian, but Camilio! I'll find the freaking stone, but don't expect me to give it to a crazy old fart like you. Ah! But if you do, I'll fix that watch of yours! Shoot, fi fine. You can try and fix it while we're gone. Okay, okay. Great for you two. Now let's go adventure and find that stinking mineral. <coughs> Don't get any ideas or you'll regret it. I can think of at least a dozen dimensions that would be incredibly painful for you to live in, pal. So I'm warning you. You can trust me. After all, I owe you one. You did save my life. Yeah! Team up adventure time, my dudes! This is gonna be great! Though I do think this adventure will be extremely annoying, hard to bear, and overall just unappealing. I will admit, Renzo, you will be very fun to make fun of. Hey man, that's my job. I take it back. This is gonna suck. The future, the future is, is falling, falling apart! apart. <laughs> Uh, how close are we? I haven't been on a plane in years. I hope I don't get stuck in luggage. Oh, I remember the day he built me. It was late 2007 and I was on sale at Target. I assume they were putting last year's sets on sale. I remember waking up for the first time. The first thing I saw was his face, staring at me. In all, I guess I was a pretty impressive sight for a five-year-old. <laughs> it was just us for a while. Then it all started to change in 2012. He must have been feeling nostalgic when he bought the Toa Mata. Ever since then, he was hooked, and more and more sets started arriving. And it seemed that I started becoming less and less special. And now... Ten years later, I'm not even sure if I even matter to him anymore. But, whatever. I should get hidden again before someone sees me. Bro, I've got a very not good feeling about this. I think I had the same feeling. This reminds me of an old poem. Hello, Strock! Hello, Tahu. I once walked a path. Remember, this is about making peace. On one side of me was peace, and the other 
Chaos. Peace will never be possible unless someone takes a hit. For once, I agree with you, Strack. I walked the path between them. Unfortunately, I forgot where they led. And I'm not willing to let a dozen fire sets suffer for a few dirty ice matoran. No! But before I could realize my true destination, it was too late. I couldn't redirect my weary path. I'm sorry, Perk, but this is an impossible situation. The only way this ends is with someone dying and someone else can live. I'm not letting my people die. Then it is settled. There will be war. It was too late when I realized my destination was death. No, stop! We can fix this. We have to fix this. I wish Protaka were here. He know what to do. He know how to fix this. Okay, man, that doesn't freaking help! Sorry, I quote literature when I'm nervous. You must have a very difficult life. Oh, you don't know half of it. Well, you wanna open the door? Are you crazy? Just open the door to God knows what. I don't think so, buddy. Fine, I'll open it. Well, no turning back now. Has returned. Holy frick, back one in the name of gravy is that? I have no clue, but it's freaking unholy, whatever it is. It's freaking unholy. I am all that is not. The reflection of the universe. The space in between. I am collateralism. I am calamity. I'm freaking out! Same here! Come with me if you want to continue existing. Holy crap, you're supposed to be dead! Now we're seeing ghosts too? Are we dead? I think we're dead! I'm no ghost. Now shut up and follow me. Are those? The others! They're trying to escape! That thing. And I'm not sure, but it's a creature from beyond this dimension, and those only cause chaos. You mean the faceless one? Yeah, and Richter, the psychopath who's been murdering people. Yeah, but the faceless one's cool, he helped us out, man. He only cleaned up his own mess at the cost of our friend's lives, and when I'm ready, I'm gonna kill him and every other unwanted abomination from the multiverse. Cause it's never been beat And we've never missed you 
get with the girls we meet time. Uh, well, enough with the vacationing. I have a mission. Good thing I managed to steal Matthias's phone before he went swimming. Uh, it appears there is a lake close to Brittle's location that doesn't have any human structures near it. I'll have to cross it to get to him. I've got to make it quick. I need to be back home before Matthias and his family leave. All right. Based off the old tracker the officers placed on him, Bruttel lives just across this lake. Now comes the hard part. Finding a way to cross it. I'll have to make a watercraft out of the supplies available to me. I will call this vessel the SS Matthias. It shall be a true vessel to honor that name. It will be bold, strong, and never ending! As the great Tyson Ritter once said, when all you've got to keep is strong, move along. Well, to throttle, I go! I'm so flippin' hype right now, dog. you don't even know. That's great, buddy. Hey, Prof, where the cave you mentioned has that crystal thing or whatever it was? Okay, be careful, you two. I'm picking up several heat signatures coming from that cave. And they're large. Yes, bad guys. We can take them. Uh, how many signatures exactly, Prof? It's in the hundreds, Camilio. Wait, did he say hundreds? Hundreds? Are you serious? I'm certain. I told you, Fricks. You should have let me come with. Geo, I need someone there with Prof. He still lied to us, you know. All right, Prof, we're entering. Good luck, friends. I wouldn't classify us as friends, but whatevs. Hey, all right, Captain Hero Pants, lead the way. What? Uh, I don't think so, buddy. I actually like being alive. <sighs> Some hero you are more like. What's the? What? Where? What's your hero? That was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Well, you know what, pal? I will go in first. Great. Now go in first. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Well, while those two figure out their current situation, I might as well get to fixing that watch. I still don't understand why he had to leave his whole arm here. That Camilio guy's a bit of a creep. Well, you see, apparently from what Camilio says, the watch is permanently bonded to his wrist. I guess only one person has ever taken it off. But aside from that, every attempt to remove it has proven... Futile. Sure, this guy's such a weirdo. I mean, he seems pretty sketchy to me. No normal person can be protector of the multiverse and not be insane. How does someone even get that job? I mean, where did this watch even come from? I wish I knew the answers to all those questions as well. As for Camilio, from the little I know of him, I think he does care for people. As for being insane, he's just a kid having his job. I think that puts a burden on a kid. I don't think he's all fine upstairs either. 
Yeah, could you hand me that tool? Sure thing. I mean, I guess I can't trust someone who just shows up and declares himself protector of the friggin' multiverse. Something tells me he didn't have a choice in the matter. Then who did? <laughs> the frig is happening. It appears to be speaking. What kind of language is that? What kind of language is that? Hey, now the little frig is mimicking me. Hey, now the little frig is mimicking me. Stop. Language cool. detected. Dimension six five five seven eight nine. Universal common. Made dominant by the GCU. User. Did that freaking thing just say user? I I believe it did. I believe it's analyzed our vocals and detected our language. Remarkable. I must find the user. It's possessed. Kill it. I'm not possessed, android. Um, <clears throat> Miss, uh, watch. Are you an AI that was programmed into this device? You a robot? No, I am no robot, nor AI. Then, uh, madam, what are you? The user. I must find the user. Who's this user person you keep mentioning? Chameleon Anima 04. Or as he calls himself, Camelio. Great Scott! This forest is dizzying. I can't even find where I landed the SS Matthias. It feels like I've been searching for Brattle for hours. I hope he hasn't perished. Oh, shrimple dimples! Ah! Ah! What the heck is it? Oh, doesn't matter. I need to do something before it eventually lands a hit on me! What is going on, Lacan? I'm not sure. But it all started when the faceless one showed up here. Ever since then, the house has faced these freaks. Wait, Lacan, are you supposed to be, like, dead? Death wasn't an option. I still have my mission to fulfill, and I'm sorry you both had to experience this. And I'm sorry for your losses. But bad things are upon us. You need to run and hide. Grab your friends and family. Keep them close, because at this point, you never know what horrors they could face. Uh, okay then, my man. We just gotta go back downstairs where it's safe and act like none of this ever happened. You what, this guy's a freaking lunatic. We need to get out of here. Well, thanks for saving us, Lycon. Good luck on your, uh, quest thing. Goodbye, friends. Hey, the power's back! Yes! Screw you, darkness! Who the frick? Who do you side with? What the trouble from? Dude, calm down! Who do you side with? Hey man, calm down. What are you talking about? Pfft, clueless civilian, Tahu or Strack. Who do you side with? Is this a political thing? If it is, I want nothing to do with it. You don't have any say in the ma- Oh, great. You can't just claim parts of my room like that. Frick, it's the fuzz. This ain't over crawfish and you two airhead. Woo! Calling crawfish! What the what the freak is going on, Pyrrhic? The ice and fire sets have declared war on each other. Oh, that's not a big deal, right? Man, I can't deal with this crap right now. Sorry to hear that, Pyrrhic, but I gotta tell you what we saw. Go ahead. I don't think that thunderstorm was natural. I think it was caused by what we saw. And what did you see? It was Pyrrhic. Tahu. You need to get out of here before we ensure that you'll never trespass anywhere ever again. Tahu Uniter has been kidnapped by one of the ice freaks. What? Strike kidnapped Tahu Uniter! He was able to escape, but he left a note! What does it say? Release Mator alive, and there won't be more! Son of a... Uh, who does he think he is? He's Ron! Ron, I tell you! 
Kahu Uniter is my friend and... Ugh! What should we do? We're gonna break in, and we're gonna kidnap one of them. Payback time, boys. Payback time. Oh, what the... Good morning, Brutaka. How was your nap? Nap? I don't... Wait a minute. You shot me with weird energy stuff. Oh, yes. I did enjoy that quite a bit. What the zip do? You had it coming. Wait a minute. Brottle, it's you. It always was, my prideful friend. Whoa, 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 why did you attack me, man? Well, you did send me to the wilderness to fed for myself as an old man. Uh, but... That, and at this point, I'm just used to the squirrels attacking my home a few times a day. I mean... It does happen almost every day. Uh, yeah. And of course, the hikers who every once in a while get a little too close. So a few energy bolts and floating objects tend to scare them off. Okay, you've made So at this point, I've adapted to the imminent danger that I am faced with every day since you sent me here years ago. I so pardon me if I'm a little protective at this point! Listen! Brutal, I'm sorry. Oh, Brutaka being sorry. A lot has changed in my absence, I see. Look, Brutal, I've changed since you left. I'm not the same person I used to be. Oh, I'm sure you have. I bet you're just a peach now. You need to trust me, Brutal. <laughs> I can't even trust myself. How could I trust you? Especially after all the mistakes you have made and will inevitably make. Listen to me, Brutal. I came all this way, left my friends, risked my life just to meet you. That has to mean something. Wait. Did you say friends? Yes. Piruk is my closest friend. And I trust those three air toa with my life. Mm. <laughs> oh. ah. How's Room City and the officers since I left? Uh, complicated. From where I left Room City, it's great. The officers have been uh, voted out, let's say. To be truthful, Rutaka, I've been expecting you. How could- The pit! You've seen it. I've lived it. Oh, then all is as my sight has feared. History is happening too early. What? My prediction showed you visiting in a year, but it appears your visit has occurred early. You're not making any sense, Brutal. Did you get one of your future visions that showed me visiting you? Yes, and bad things are coming, Brutaka. What things? Great turmoil, chaos, and death approaches you and Room City, and there is no way to stop it. You mean there's no way to stop it? There's always a way. Trust me, Brutaka. If I could have stopped it, I would have. I tried and failed, which means you will try and fail. What are you talking about? You think I'm just going to accept that? Ah, this is always how you were. With your stupid visions, you never once tried to do anything. You just let it happen. You fool! You do not understand- Oh, I think I do understand. If you think I'm just gonna let my friends get hurt, if you think I can live a life without there them- There it is! You can't live a life without them. It was always about you, Brotaka. It's just as I feared. You haven't changed. You've just found new ways to entertain yourself. You are only trying to save your friends for yourself. Not for them, and that is why you will fail. This is bigger than the Tomorrow War. This is past that. This goes for Tomorrow War. What are you talking about? Ah, it's always like this with you. I'm out of here. This was a waste of time. Butaka, stop. Leave. Make your mistakes. But listen to me one last time. Just listen to this. What is it, Brutal? You must appreciate your gifts while you have them. You must appreciate your friends while you have them. 
for they won't always be there. Je cherish them, Brutaka. Cherish them while you still have the chance. And remember, it's not about you. It's about them. Ah, whatever, Brunel. I'm going to go help my friends. And if making mistakes means helping them, then you can be darn sure I'll make those mistakes. It's about them, Brutaka. It's about them. All right, so we bust in there and blow the son of the gun sky high. Dude, that's flipping insane. This isn't stinking Mythbusters. We can't just blow everything up. There are lives at stake here, man. What? It doesn't matter if they die. They're bad guys. Every life matters, Renzo. Every single one. I don't care who they are. Their life matters because, man, everyone has the potential to do something really good. And that means they deserve to live because they have that potential. What are you talking about? You carry guns on you. With non-lethal charges and bullets. The only time I used lethal force was against a bunch of these candy marshmallow weirdos on Easter. But they're like starfish. If you cut a piece off of them, it just forms into another organism. All right, whatever. No killing. But that doesn't mean I can't punch them in their dumb bad guy faces. Sure. Emilio! Whoa, Prof, settle down. My man, what's going on? Your freaking watch is talking. What? The watch, Camilio. I must have opened some sort of firewall or something. It's speaking and it's demanding that you get here immediately. Wait, your watch can talk? I guess it can? That's so cool, man. <laughs> what do you mean, Prof? I don't fully understand it, Camilio. It's... It, uh, here. Uh, hey. Camilio? Give me Minrenzo. Prof, if you broke the code trick, you're gonna have bigger things than me to report to. Hold on! I'm putting the watch through the telespeaker. Uh, Earth to Teenage Robot. We have a problem! Greetings, user. I require- How are you speaking? Are you an AI? For real. This is freaking me out. No, 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 no. My name is Afaria. It's my power that allows you to travel to alternate dimensions. Well, just back it up a little bit because I'm being real, I have no idea what you just said. Uh, Camilio! There is no time! Just trust me! Uh, a, a feria, um, m'lady. How long have you been in my watch? Uh, you foolish adolescent! I've been here since its creation! Then why haven't you said anything until now? Oh, I think I know why. Because this is all bogus and you're some kind of virus that's got onto my watch. Why, you... Of all the paladins, you had to be the one during the threat of the calamity and Malazor's uprising! A godforsaken teenager! How dare you disrespect me! Aferia, head of the ancient- There's like 20 bad boss guys coming at us right now, come here, yo! You have no idea what you're talking about, lady! You're not a paladin. You're just a kid who's out of his habitat. <laughs> Renzo, look out! its head. If we take out the queen going by every sci-fi movie trailer, you should shut down all the other bugs so we can take the mineral and get the heck out of here. Got it!
guys for the win. So, are all of them dead then? Yeah, we're good for now, but uh, if this queen wakes up anytime soon, then we're screwed. Holy frick, we need to get out of here. Us different from animals makes us all the same. Take it if it makes you numb, take it if it makes you calm, take it if it makes you make it perfect. Take it if it makes you talk, take it if it makes you cough, take it if it makes you forget. Yes! Did it, now let's get the heck out of- Time! Fire on sight, men! Non-lethal charges! Non-lethal! Fire back, boys! Fire back! No! What the hell did you do? What? No, it wasn't. Your sets are dead now. They're dead because of you. This isn't my fault. You shouldn't have invaded my home. If you never would have come here, this wouldn't have happened. That's it, Strack. We're dead. Three days, Strack. Three days. And I'm coming over here with everything I've got. And I'm avenging my friends. Your friends? What about mine? What about the now dead ice sets right in front of us? My friends are dead. And I'm grieving. And you're the one who's gonna face that. You're gonna face my pain.
have to catch me And if you wanna taste, you gon' have to pay a fee I'm the bomb and about to blow up I'm the bomb and about to blow up For my molly ring walls and my little scarecrows When they hear my record, well they all hit the floor Babies like a pose, come up in the front row The homies in the back, get the hats to blow I'm the bomb and about to blow up I'm the bomb and about to blow up I commend him for what he's trying to achieve with the Knights, but I feel they've only become a group of attack dogs for the GCU. That and they're a bunch of stuck-up frick faces. That's one way of describing them. I don't see the point in the Knights when my paladins have the multiverse under control. Huh, I wouldn't exactly describe Camellio as under control. Ugh, you're one to talk. Excuse me? Your so-called closest ally, Renzo, is a complete mess. He's an unprepared child who flies around this dimension trying to be a hero and failing miserably. He's going to get you and himself killed. Hey, listen, Renzo may be a bit of a screwed up, but the kid's got heart. What's the point of heart when one doesn't have a brain to direct said heart? Please, calm down, you two. Yo, props, we got this time crystal thing. We're on our way back. How's the watch? Is she still freaking out? Uh, yes. There may be a little freaking out going on at the lab. <sighs> Alright, I'll be there as soon as possible. See you then. Good luck, Camellio and Renzo. <coughs> So... So what, dude? You had a little breakdown back there, man. Yeah, but I'm good now, so let's just forget about it. I, uh... Listen, man, I may not be very smart or strong, but I know keeping this shoved deep down inside of you ain't healthy. You're a green lizard goblin alien thing. I'm an advanced artificial intelligence robot. It's to be expected that we don't exactly deal with our problems the same way, dude. <laughs> Bro, if there's one thing that's the same across the board, it's teenagers. I used to be your age, man, and I know how it is. Just keeping that stuff locked up is not good. Who's Froga? Nobody. A person just doesn't scream nobody's name like that. She was someone really important to me. Oh, oh, frick. Ex-girlfriend? Okay, that's a tough... No, it, it wasn't like that. We were like... Sort of siblings. Unseparable. Until we were, well, separated. And it was my fault. I see. You got friend-zoned. What? No, you're a freaking moron. I shouldn't even be talking to you about this. Hey, man, I'm sorry, but give me a break. You aren't exactly doing a good job at explaining this, dog. She was like a sister to me. I don't think it was, I don't, I, I don't think it was like that. Well, where is she now? She's dead. Oh, my God. Dude, I did. I, it's I, whatever now. That was a long time ago. That was a different me. That was before the watch, before the cataclysm, and I'm not going to sit here and dwell on it when there's more important things to right now going on. Man, I get that. You know, you don't want to be all depressed about it and, like, some sort of edgelord, but, dude, you're breaking down into fits, man. You're freaking breaking down, and it's just better to dip. Maybe I am, but if it means that innocent lives are being saved, then I'm game. If I'm breaking down but others are living, that's a good ratio to me. We need to keep moving. Me being away from the watch this long is not a good situation. How dare you, a clunky excuse for an AI, insult me, the founder of the ancient Sidonian Congress? I don't give two fricks about whatever old lady Congress you were a part of. You're talking crap about Renzo. All you do is bring Renzo down. Yeah, but that's different. Is it? it yeah, it. Yeah, it. It totally is.
I came to kill Camilio, but I see he's not here. So I'll just murder all of you instead! You won't be forgotten, my friends. I'll be sure of it. And I'll also be sure that Tahu pays for his crimes. That he pays for taking you away from me. Sir, oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's just... It's fine, Matoro. What seems to be the issue? It's the... We face the fire sets today, sir, and we still don't have anything planned, no war strategies, no battle plans. Nothing. That is my fault. I'm not going to pretend like it isn't. Our brother's deaths, it's... it's left an impact on me. I ap apologize for not being the leader I should have been. But no more. The anger I feel towards Tahu's crimes is just as large as the pain I feel for their outcomes. Prepare the board and start planning. What's he gonna say? Maybe he was thinking up some master plan. You're right. Three days leaving us alone? Maybe some leader. Everyone, hush! This is a hard time for us. The losses that occurred three days ago are still felt. But we must turn this morning into rage. We must divert this sadness into frustration. And we must make the fire set pay. Make Tahu pay. My brothers, I've been gone for a while, but I return. I return in the blazing glory of a frost. Return with me, because yes, I have been thinking of a plan. And it's gonna extinguish the fire horde. It's gonna win us this war. Uh, excuse me, Tahu, what's the plan for tonight? The plan. What's the plan? You wanna know what the plan is? The plan is to kill Stra. Uh, y yes sir, but what's our battle strategy? The strategy is to pack in as much firepower as possible. A fire set after all. Oh. <laughs> I've just got another idea up my sleeve. Oh! What's that? The Hero Factory dropship. No way! Oh, you bet. <laughs> Those ice sets are in for something big. All right, all right, everyone stay in line. Hey, I said stay in line. I see you trying to scoot ahead, Mr. Agori. Hey guys, you have no idea what this means to us. Letting some of the Rune City residents stay in that fortress thing of yours. Hey man, it's Karzani's thing. I did help build it though. Hey, it's no problem, man. If the Fire Knights sets want to war like a bunch of sore butts, that's on them. But doing it right here in the middle of the room? Bring all these homies into it? I don't think so. I've seen stuff like this happen in my old home. Innocent sets die and it's wrong. I can't let that happen to this home, especially after- Not from Room City? Where did you live before? Meh, somewhere far away. Everything was going downhill. There were some good people there though. I do miss some of them. But I'm not gonna let here get as bad as there. Well, either way, your help is- Lumamata, Carzani, I miss you guys so much! Hey guys! You 
know, normally I'd have something pessimistic to say, but I'm actually really happy to see you guys. Yeah, it was quite the adventure. I got stuck in the dishwasher! Yes. Yes, you're dead. Glad you guys are back, but we've gotta get moving. The fire and ice war should be starting within the next few hours, so we gotta find all the sets, so we can make them as safe as we can. I can't fit any more peeps in the fixer for two, man. We gotta find a second location. The garage? No, not the garage! City Hall it is, then. Murderous, who the frick do you think you are? Name's Richter. Herald of the Cataclysm. Great Scott. Geode, from what Camellio has said about the Cataclysm, if this fellow is connected to it, this entire dimension is in danger. We need to hold him off until Camellio gets back. It's gonna be a lot harder than you think, Professor. Wait a second. <laughs> is that his watch? Oh no. Oh, you can talk? That means your screams can be heard, hopefully by Camilio. Step back. You aren't going anywhere near her. Activate B-O-X-E-R-B-07. What? Where did that come from? It's an old boxing pot from Hammer City's boxing ring days. Used to be called the Crimson Crusher. As a kid, I'd watch his matches religiously. Eventually, everyone moved on from robot boxing. Everyone but me! You really don't want to do this, Professor. You're right. I don't. But if I don't do this, Miss Aferia and the whole multiverse is doomed. I think what I want is out of the question! Geode! Use the telespeaker and alert Camilio and Renzo of what's happening! Okay, so like, I don't want to be rude, but I gotta address the Geomancer in the room. Uh, what's up? You're a prepubescent teen robot. Like, how does that even work? Do you really need me to explain puberty to you, Renzo? You no, that's, I mean, robots don't grow or anything. They're made of metal and stuff. That involves, that involves stuff in the past that I, uh, let's just say that the people who made me, made me to grow, to develop. To reproduce? Ugh, frick you. All right, listen, we're moving on from that. Basically, I'm not your typical robot. I'm just like any other life form, not like Geode or those Union drones. I hate those stupid Union fricks. They literally do nothing but act like butts. Eh, I don't really get involved with the Dimension's politics. I'm a, uh, I'm like, I'm supposed to interfere with the Dimension as minimally as possible, so that stuff doesn't really matter to me. Come on, man. You, you can't just stand there and let those idiots rule over the universe. You could do such... You could help. I'm sorry, man, but they're not eating Dimensions or trying to go back in time, so... I can't interfere. Whatever, man. I, I don't need the help of some loser teen robot thing anyway. And why do you keep mentioning your stupid code? Like, where did that even come from? Did you make it up? You said your watch didn't talk before today, so... Oh, there was this orientation hollow video thing that told me what I was supposed to do when I first got the watch. Was that lady from earlier in the orientation? What? No, it was from the paladin before me. It was a hollow message of him instructing me what I was... Wait, what? You're not the first paladin? Of course not. Renzo, Kami Leo, Ball Heck has broken loose. Geode, are you okay? What's happening? It's that Richter. Oh, crap. What? What does he mean by that, Richter? What's happening? We need to get moving now. Start running, Renzo. What the frick is happening? I'm not going anywhere until someone tells me. Geo's gonna die if you don't start moving. Now! Crap! Yep, I'm moving. I will rip through you to get to that watch! That watch has a name! Much for that professor! Get off me, you insect! Wait, what the 
you should have accepted my offer, Professor. No! You care for her an awful lot, Professor. Why is that? It's the watch. If it gets damaged, is it the watch, Professor? Or is it... See, Renzo? That's how you kick down a freaking door. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, it just had to come right before I cut his legs off. I prefer to show up fashionably late. And, uh, is that a Langerian you brought with you? Uh, yeah. Name's Renzolian Alexander. Uh, I don't care. More people for me to kill. Yeah. It's my life. It's now. Are you okay? Oh, don't be dead, man. Don't be dead. Renzo, if we survive this, I never want to see you again. I love you too, buddy. <sighs> Are you okay, Miss Avaria? I've been through much worse with Zaltorius. Are you harmed, Professor? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I was at 100% capacity. <sighs> Who's Zaltorius? My husband. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. I I'll do everything in my power to make sure you come out of this to see him again. It's more complicated than that. Just, just help, Camilio. I know you're there. I don't know why I can't see you, but I feel your presence. Hello there, Strack. Don't waste my time. I'm about to head to war. We're already getting prepared to advance to the field in an hour. And if you're another extra-dimensional being here to try and kill oh, me- Oh no, 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 no. Not at all. My name is Rorim. I'm a Lego toy, just like you. Just with some... enhancements. I noticed. If you're here to try and stop me from destroying the fire sets and killing Tahu, I can guarantee you. It's far too late for that. <laughs> of course not. I'm here to help you. My employer has some tools that I'm sure could prove useful to your cars. And what are those? Light energy enhanced blasters. They're illegal across the nation. Who said they were illegal? <laughs> hmm. Seems the sets of this house are naive to the true nature of our kind. Our kind? Living toys, my friend. You don't keep our existence a secret without making some greater connections. And boy, are we far more connected than you think. What makes these light energy blasters any different from normal toy blasters? You've seen some of the officer's old weapons, haven't you? The ones that can fire actual charges? I figured it was some sort of firecracker system. <laughs> they were far more than small mobile firecrackers. They were prototypes the officers bought from us to help maintain all Prototypes of what? What do these weapons even do? I'll show you. By the great beings. What? What is that? It is a mere glimpse at the true power of the light system. And how it can be yours. That whole can be Tahu. You just have to do one thing for my employer. What's that? Kill them all. Kill every last fire set. So what have you been up to, Richard? Do you do anything aside from freaking stalking me? Uh, just been busy reducing half the population of the multiverse. Holy frick, Steve Fist for the win! You've improved since our last fight. I'll give you that. But it's still not enough. That chameleon creature is tough. Could withstand my energy sword. Let's see if I can't break it. <clears throat> oh, look at this. All three of you. Sounds like fun! No 
Those magnets are at 45 megastrix. You're not getting loose. Uh, we'll see about that. Gonna try. Uh, you <laughs> with the frick? Uh. Gross. Emilio, would you like to initiate the upgrade? Upgrade? I've had it ready for a while, but any modification to the suit needs to be approved by the Paladin. Since I couldn't talk to inform you of this, I could never get your approval, but- Approved? This thing's never fit me right, it's always been too big! Upgrade initiated. What the- Now I'm freaking naked, Aferio! What the frick?! <laughs> 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 oh yes, it's on now, Richter. <laughs> Sorry? Well, would you look at that? Twins. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! It's already on. I've got you. You're out of your habitat! And dies. You're all alone. No, no friends. friends. No, no family. family. No, no, no. That's where you're wrong. That's where I've always been wrong. I do have friends. I have, I have so many so people, people out there, out there. So, many so many people who would people fight, for, fight me. for me, so many, so many individuals, individuals that care, that care, that care, that care about, about me, me. that care about that care what about happens, happens to me, and you're, and you're especially wrong, wrong about my family. family. I, have I have a family, family. I have a I place, have I have a home, I, I have a habitat, and I would do anything to defend it. I'm gonna show you how lost your cause as a hero is, how pathetic you are! I'm going to kill you slowly and painfully. Camilio, we have a serious alert! Not the freaking time of
spirit. This is a cataclysm. Open a portal to its location now. If I wanted to start this out on a cliché, I'd say that this is your last chance to give up peacefully before we obliterate you. But... <laughs> that chance is long gone, Taru. <laughs> Whatever struck. Why don't we stop making the good people of Room City weird and just end this? Sounds good to me. Stop this now. Burek! You... Ugh. I told you, this is beyond you. There's no going back. I don't care whatever feud you two have. I don't care if you kill each other. I care if you cause a third of the population of Room City to be murdered. This is a war, Pyrrhic. No! This is genocide! What is he doing? He knows there's no stopping them now. He's stalling. Stalling for what? Matthias to get home. If you don't move now, Peric, I will go through you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not gonna let my people die. Stop acting like it's your decision to make. Everyone here wants and believes in their cause. We aren't forcing them to do anything. <sighs> of course they are. It's because of you two. They look up to you. <sighs> Shut the hell up already, Peric. Do any of you actually care about what you're fighting for? What was this even about? Parts? Is that it? You're gonna kill each other over some Lego parts? It's working. Why is he waiting for Matthias? Wait. Wait, you don't think I think he, he wants Matthias to see us. That's insane. Wait, he he can't do that. It, it may be the only way to stop this. You have no idea what you're talking about, Pyrrhic. Nobody's fighting for parts anymore. We're fighting for the sets we lost three days ago. The sets that Tahu killed. Yeah? Yeah? If it weren't for you two psychos with your stupid missions and hostages, those sets would still be alive! Excuse me? You're gonna blame me for this? Acting like I'm the one who's killing everyone? You're delusional, Pyrrhic. Stop trying to- Wait a minute. Oh no. Don't listen to Pyrrhic. This is a setup. He's trying to stall so Matthias gets home and sees us. Uh, what? Pyrrhic's trying to expose us. I'm impressed, Pyrrhic. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. No. I've been waiting for this. Face it. Burn them all to the ground. What in all the... Wait a minute. I've heard about you. You're the thing from the garage. You're the... The monster everyone's been seeing in their nightmares. I can't panic. Get rid of it. Didn't see you there. Playing and ending the universe can't let you do that. Hey, you're looking effeminate. Camellia. That's the name. Don't wear it out. Hey, look at my watch here. It's really looking like not ending the universe o'clock. So how about we don't do that? We can go to a petting zoo. I can bring a couple of my friends, you know, Prof, Geode. We can leave Renzo back, but you know, we can go to the petting zoo, look at some cute animals, and no universe is ending. Billions won't die. I think that sounds like a really good idea. You hurt, you hurt me. me. Oh, you're not still on about the time when I sent you to the negative zone on Christmas. Hey, listen, I promise I'll make it up to you this year by getting you a Christmas present. But that can't happen if you eat this universe because I'm pretty sure genocide would 
probably put you on the naughty list. Humor will not allow you to escape me, child. I guess that's one way of saying I'm not very funny. You trapped me. I couldn't feed. I starved. That hurt. Camilio, you need to lure it out of here as soon as possible. Somewhere unpopulated. Hold on, something's up. I need to figure out what's wrong with it. There's no time for that. I was the protector of the multiverse for ten years without your help. I know what I'm doing. I've been guiding you this whole time. Oh, shut up. You never guided me. You never guided the scared or confused child told to protect the entire multiverse. No, I had to do that myself. And I'll do this myself, too. So what's up with the new armor and curves? Got tired of being a weird shadow thing? Seems kind of pointless, if you ask me. Nothing, Nothing I, do I do is pointless. pointless. Then why wear that armor? You and me both know you don't need it. Silence. 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 I must feed now. now. I must repair. I must repair. I've seen what happens after this, and I wouldn't call it repairing. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! I just broke the infinity. It just broke the infinity gun. Very just. Oh, that was. I really had no plan after Infinity Gone. I thought that would be the end of it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't give up. No giving up. No giving up. Forget this. We still have a war to wage. Very well. Prop, you there? We can see everything you see, Camilio. Awesome, didn't want to wire you up to my eyes for no reason. Well, you can see what I'm facing, right? Oh, no, 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 no. We totally just missed the giant demon monster lady thing. Yo, we see it, Camilio. Well, any ideas? Just run for your freaking life, Count. No ideas. All right, looks like I'm on my own. Camilio, I think the best option now is to evacuate. This is a lost cause. She'll... She'll kill you, Camilio! We're not going anywhere. Camilio, if she engulfs this universe, you'll die! And if I leave, I'm only sealing the deal that everyone in this universe dies. We're the only ones with even a slight chance of stopping it, Affair. No, 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 no! I demand you leave! I'm stopping this thing with or without you in the water. Ah, you selfish brat! You truly don't care about what happens to you, do you? No, I really Shut don't- Shut up! I'm talking! Do you understand how your death could affect those around you? Do you even care? Aferia, calm down! What about Steve? What will he do without you? Or Gabriel? What about me? I've been with you for ten years! I'm supposed to look after you! I'm supposed to protect you! I can't go through this again! I can't fail again! I... I can't lose another child! Aferia, I, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. This can't happen again. It can't happen again. Please, don't let it happen again. Aferia, I have to. I have to save them. I'm the only one who can. I'm so sorry. I have to. This is the end. The end of it all. The end of the war. The war for tomorrow. This is the end, alright? The end of you, Struck. Ah! What the? How? No! That traitor roar him! Where? He visited you too. Sold us the light energy weapons to use against you. To use against each other. Well, 
I was fan playing ball. So good. Ah. Oh, what happened? Ah. Oh, can you just not eat the universe? Yes, Camellio, that's the One Ring. Yes, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to you. No, we should not scream in excitement about it. Why did I think that would work? Oh my god, 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 Officially confirm the hypothesis that being thrown through multiple dimensions and smashing into a building does in fact hurt. Where were you getting all those weapons, Camellio? I've collected them over the years, over my many adventures as Paladin, you know, storing them in the Nil Dimension. I, I put an access cord in my hand, so whenever I do a certain combination, I get a weapon teleported to me. And before you ask why I haven't used any of them before, I tried using them on a bunch of stormtroopers once, and I almost killed them all, so I decided that I should only use them if I absolutely need to. And I absolutely need to for the Cataclysm! Uh, it doesn't matter, Camellio. They're not working. Nothing's going to work. You're going to die if you keep this up. I know, but maybe that's what's best for me. I've never fit in anywhere. There's, there's never been a happy ending for me. There never was. Even before I found the watch. I was always a freak. Camellio, what? No, stop! I demand you stop! I'm sorry, Aferia, I- Camelio! How you doing, man? Oh, hey, Rangus. You know, not exactly the best day right now, but whatever, man. Just keep on keeping on, am I right? Can I get you a drink or something? Yeah, I think I could really use one right about now. What do you want? Strongest thing you got, man. Cheeky. Dave, can you get me a nice Jack Daniels, if you will? Alright. Let's give this another go. Okay, mate, I'm just gonna say, I'm your dad since you're 15 and all, and... Wait, where'd he go? Can't let some cheeky Jack Daniels go to waste. <sighs> Soldiers, initiate drop sequence pro call. Ah! 
Ah, you blew off my hand! Ah! <laughs> Camilio, don't die on me! Camilio, please get up! Camilio! <laughs> Camilio! You're going to die if you keep this up! I know, so I better make this last joke pretty funny. Humor? At a time like this? How could you? Camilio! I have an idea! Running isn't an option, Prof. No! Camilio! Travel back in time! Stop this from ever happening! Prof, the moment I do that, she'll just follow me back in time, or worse, destroy everything before I even leave. Wait, then we have someone else to do it. Huh? Send someone else back in time while you- While I distract the cataclysm. But how are we gonna send them back? Ah, the time mineral! But who am I gonna send back? I'm back! Is everyone- Holy frick, what happened here? False, false, hero, hero, hero. Hey there, Brutak, a long time no see. You like my sweet portal gun? Yeah, just summoned it in from the nil dimension. How you doing? Hi, Steven? Uh, it's actually Camellia. You wanna, uh, save the universe real quick for me? Uh... Okay, listen, I'm gonna send you back in time. Change something, steal something, blow something up. It doesn't matter, as long as it's major. It'll cause a ripple effect that'll reshape the future and prevent all this from ever happening. Uh... Ugh. <sighs> So, how are you gonna send me back in time, then? All we need is a vehicle. It'll act as our DeLorean. I'm sure once it hits the speed that Prof's got ready, it'll zap back in time. You know something that can act as a vehicle? Hmm... There's Matthias's modified RC car, Daisy. He suited up that thing with one hell of an engine. It'll work. Grab it. Alright, let's do this. All I gotta do is stall. That's all I gotta do. Fighting, man. What? Why is it so quiet? You, you, you kill them all. They're all dead. No. No. This isn't happening. What happened to my city? How could this... Brutal was right. Why did he have to be right? Why? Why? This is all my fault. I, I couldn't stop it. I, I couldn't. I failed. No. I should never have left. If only I was here- I was lost. No! No it's not! I don't care what Bruttle said. I'm going to fix this. Piddock, I need you to do something with me. It could save them all. How, Brutaka? Everyone is dead. We've already failed. Tomorrow is lost. Not if we save yesterday. Hiruk, I need you to use Matthias's phone to document this all. What? No! I'm not gonna record my death- Trust me. Just trust me. What 
have we done? <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> Don't end it like this, Tahu. Don't make me kill another. Too many have died already. I'll tear you apart! So, why the frick are we hooking up the super legendary time travel mineral to a freaking RC car? The people, the, the toys, the whatever they are, from the universe Camellia was currently in, are going to go back and stop all this from happening! This little RC car is gonna be their vessel back! Once it hits 88 miles per hour, the mineral will act as a replacement for the plutonium needed for the flux transporter! We're trusting the fate of the universe to a couple toys. I don't like it either, Renzo, but Camellio trusts them. We, we need to trust him. Wait, how the frick is this little RC car supposed to hit 88 miles per hour? I'm modifying it. Modifying it to go faster. It could work. Or uh, the whole thing could explode from energy overload since it wasn't really made to- Just frickin' do it. The more I hear about the plan, the more hopeless it seems. So, we get this thing to hit 88, and we fly back in time, and it appears through the TV. If we're outside, why wouldn't we be outside in the future? The people guiding us get to select where we reappear in the future, like teleporting, and they've set the coordinates to be the TV. If that is in fact where you say this whole thing started, we'll appear right above you in the past. Wait, what if I meet my past self? Wouldn't the whole universe implode or something? Something tells me that won't happen. How do you know? Have you met yourself in the future or something? What? If, no! Call it a hunts, Pirok, but we need to get moving! from one of its own blasts. I guess it's weak to its own power. Guys, can we just call a truce for like 15 minutes so I can just take take a breather? We can share Gatorade because I could really use a breather. No, don't like Gatorade. All right, me neither. Bad news, Afaria. If I've been counting correctly, I should only have one more relic left. 
I hope to God it's a good one, because if I pull out the holy hand grenade, I'm gonna be pissed. Holy frick! It's the frickin' Omnitrix! Too pointy, too fishy. Uh, hey, that one's pretty cool. Oh, okay, this one looks promising. We'll do this one. I'm all out of relics. I'm forcing evacuation. No. I refuse. <sighs> Why are you doing this to me? Frankly, Aferia, we're dead either way. We leave this universe and she just eats more. We keep on running until there's only one left. She'll just eat that one too. I don't know about you, but I'd rather go down fighting than to go down running. <sighs> ah, 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 ah. Not a threat, no, nothing is a threat to me. But your unbreakable stubbornness is commendable. Your life was short, Paladin. But I Shut up! Die. Die. Melio! Again, I failed my child. Again, again. Oh, my God. Wait, uh, he can he can still be alive, right? I mean, if we do, he's dead, Renzo. What about those toy guys? Aren't they gonna go back and save? E it's too late, Renzo. There's no one left to buy them time. But, but, but we we can't lose. We're, we're heroes. We we win. Will you shut up with all that hero bull crap? It's over, Renzolian. We lost. Camilio is dead! This is what happens to real heroes, Renzo! They die! They die alone! There's no happy ending for them! There's no saving the world and getting the girl! There's death, Renzo! And loss! We lost! We lost. R real. Real heroes. Real heroes die. <laughs> you killed him! You took my purpose from me. The one 
thing I wanted. You took from me. And I'm gonna make you go through hell for it. Harold. Harold. Not anymore. Just the guy that's gonna kill the cataclysm. He's gone, Steve. And... And we're gonna make her pay. We'll kill it. <laughs> Just this once, lizard. I'll kill you both. I created you. I made you for one purpose, and you failed. So I took over. You still have that piece of you that cares. You didn't deserve to take him. You deserve, you deserve to, suffer, to suffer, like the like sad, sad abomination, abomination you are, Richter. Richter. You can try, sister, but I'll come back every time, you son of a bitch! Bro, I've got a very not good feeling about this. I think I had the same feeling. This reminds me of an old poem. Hello, Strock. Hello, Tahu. I once walked a path. Remember, this is about making peace. On one side of me was peace, and the other, chaos. Peace will never be possible unless someone takes a hit. For once, I agree with you, Strock. I walked a path between them. Unfortunately, I forgot where they led. And I'm not willing to let a dozen fire sets suffer for a few dirty ice matoran. No! But before I could realize my true destination, it was too late. I couldn't redirect my weary path. I'm sorry, Pert, but this is an impossible situation. The only way 
This end is when someone dying and someone else can live. I'm not letting my people die. Then it is settled. There will be war. It was too late when I realized my destination was death. death. No, stop! We can fix this. We have to fix this. I wish Kotaku were here. He know what to do. He know how to fix this. The green. The blackout. It's three days ago! We time traveled. We're the great beings. It worked! It freaking worked! In the ever living frick just happened. R Rutaka? How? Why? Is that me? Listen very carefully. We are from the future. Shh, Rutaka! We can't screw this up. Everything we say has to be the right thing. If we fail, we can make the future even worse than it already is. Good God! We cannot screw this up. Do you understand? I. I understand. So. What the heck do we say? We tell him the truth. Pirok? Hello there. Purik! What the frick did you rig? Explain yourself, Purik. What did you do? They flew out of the frickin' TV. How the... I mean... What? I have no idea what any of this... Listen, man. You said we try and negotiate one last time. You didn't frickin' tell me that there would be flying cars out of the TV. Tahu, shut up, will ya? Butaka! Uh, sorry, but you need to listen to us. And why should we listen to you? Because they flew out of a frickin' TV. That's why. Just everyone listen, alright? This, all this, this, this fight, this war, it's going bad places. You need to listen to us. Who are you? I'm... I'm you. Yeah, duh. But as far as I knew, I was only pure except in this room. I... No. I'm you. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off. Listen. We're from the future. <laughs> That's very funny, Butaka. And maybe that'll work with Tahu, but... I'm not that stupid. Time travel isn't possible. That's a fact. There's no known way in our universe to time- Not our universe, but others. That's ridiculous. Pirak, you're smarter than that. You know there is no evidence. Evidence? Car TV? Car teleporting out of TV? That's some pretty good evidence to me. I'm not gonna believe it until I get evidence. This is insanity. And if you think I'm going to sit here and take this stupidity, you are severely wrong. All your friends die, Strack. You die. Everyone dies. Tom, you too. It's a bloodbath. You understand what's at risk here. I know it's hard to deal with right now, but but if you don't listen to us now, all is lost. This is our last hope. You have no idea the lengths we went through to do this. It's for your own good. Utaka? Hey, old friend. In four days, everyone, everything, is lost. I'm sorry, Pirok. Or whoever, or whatever you are. You can preach all you want, but until I get... Here's our evidence, Freeze Brain. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to have to show you this, but you just had to be stubborn. What is this? Both of you, Tahu, Strack, watch the latest recordings.
My God. All this happens... In four days. It only took you four days to kill everything. Listen, I, I'm not one to listen to other people, and trust me, I hate Strack. I mean, I really hate Strack. Like, if you could pick one per... We get it, Tahu. But... But I... I can't let that happen. I don't know what version of myself I'll become in four days. But I can't be known as the person who killed these people. While I'm still shocked by the absurdity of the situation, and frankly, I still don't know if I believe what's happening. But, knowing there's a slight chance of causing all that harm and pain, and causing all those ice and... and even fire sets to die, I feel it's my responsibility to take every precaution in making sure that doesn't happen. Thank you. So now what? You just leave us here? To solve all the world's problems? As long as you listen to Pirok, I think, I think you'll be okay. It'll be hard, but I know him. And I trust him. Everyone has the same goal here. I don't know if- Stop it. Listen to me, you. You can do this. I didn't think I could either, but you, we, can do this. We were the one that overthrew the officers. That was you. If you wouldn't have said anything, nothing would have changed. But you didn't. You stuck to your values. You stuck to what you believed in. And if you do that now, I know. I know for a fact that you can make a difference here. It doesn't matter your size, your shape, color. It doesn't even matter if anyone listens to you. It only matters that you try. Even if you're an awkwardly built Lego set designed to be cheap and be saved by the bigger guys, it doesn't matter. Because as long as you try, you can be the one saving the bigger guys. You can make a difference. I know you can. I know I can. I know. I know we can. Thank, thank you. Are we all good here? I mean, not really. I'm gonna have to do everything in my power not to punch Strack, but... If it'll save some fire sets, I'm good, I guess. Eh, what Tahu said, but more sophisticated. Piruk, friend, can you do this? Yeah, I can do this. No, I will do this. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Well, I think we better get moving here. The future is counting on you three. Don't frick it up, please. Do you think they got this? Nope, frankly, I'm pretty terrified right now, but we'll see when, uh, when we go back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bad. Just help me move the car so we can head back. I feel like something's changed, but I don't notice any- The ice four! It's gone! Wait, I mean, now it never existed. Same with the fire fort! Is that a good sign, or- I'm not sure. Where is everyone? Not sure. Kinda of freaking me out. Oh, Glob. We killed everyone! Changed the past and now some horrific accident erased everyone in the- Oh, calm down, Piruk. We didn't kill everyone! That's ridiculous. I sure hope Tahu, Strack, those air sets, and Karzani are alright. You guys talking about me? Ha! Who? Who? What? Where? How? Karzani! You're alive! Yeah, but everyone else is dead. What? I really got you guys, didn't I? The look on your faces! 
<laughs> it was priceless. Everyone's good, my guys. <laughs> <sighs> all right, guys, we got them. You can all come out now. <laughs> well, that was priceless. That was so funny, guys. Oh, thank goodness you're all okay. Frick me. Hello, everyone! Wait a second. This doesn't add up. Oh, come on. This is a happy moment. Don't ruin it! The only people who knew we traveled back in time were Tahu, Strack, and my... S Holy crap! What is it? My memories! They're... They're overlapping! I have two separate memories of the last four days. The original one, and the altered one. We went back in time. Brutaka, you might too. Remember what you did yesterday- Holy frick! I've got two separate memories too! And I remember what I did just after we came back to talk to us from the future. We... We... Told everyone. Told everyone what happened. And everyone just believed that we came from the future. Yes. Well, concerning half of them saw the car come out the TV, and the rest believed us, because, well, I mean, everyone here is kind of an idiot, so... But that's not all. As soon as we did, everyone, everyone started remembering what happened before. Everyone in the room remembered the alternate timeline, or at least parts of it. Flashes. The memories were evoked when we told them about the war. So... Everyone remembers everything, even... Even dying, but it's pretty foggy. You two probably have more of a clear view of what's happened than we do, but we remember enough too, to know... to never let that happen again. But how did you know we'd come into the future at this precise moment? Because... it's exactly the same time as it was three days ago when you travelled back. 11.35 p.m. Oh, wow. Oh, Nito. Well, it's good to see you two. Thanks to you two, again, and that faceless one. Well, as long as the room gets itself into weirder and weirder conundrums, we'll find weirder and weirder ways to solve them. Camilio? Camilio, it's time to get up. You've been through a lot. Just relax, and wake up. What happened? Good morning, Camilio. You died. Geode! You can't start with that. We need to ease him into- Whoa, 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 what? I'm dead. Is this heaven? Man, heaven sucks. Wait, Brutaka, Pyrrhic, did they make it? They made it, Camilio. Whew, thank Glob. Richter showed up and we fought him and you freaking got new armor and you fought the Cataclysm with all these crazy weapon things and then you freaking died and, and- Renzo, stop. He can't take all that information at once. Whoa, whoa, this is heavy. You did it, Camilio. You saved the day. You fought, and you gave it your everything. And we're good now. Everything's okay, kid. You made it out. Oh, man, that's good. You guys are my best friends. Did he just... We... we're friends? Oh, my goodness. It took actually dying for him to finally break his uh, shield. Uh, no, I never said anything. It's... it's sleep nausea, alright? Crap, what happened to me? I'm feeling all sensitive and squishy now. Dying was the worst decision I ever made. I'm sure it'll wear off in the next couple days. It's not like you're gonna fall in love with the first pretty girl you see or anything. <laughs> he better not. Well, Renzo, we should probably get moving. Uh, yeah. It's not going anywhere with our bad luck, though. Whoa, Renzo, what happened to your wrist? Finn, thing? Huh? Oh, frick. It's gone. Must have lost it while we were fighting those bug things or something. I think I may have a fix for that! Whoa, cool! New plate wrist thing. It's more than just armor, Renzolian! It's a modified data pad. If you're ever in a situation where you're stuck or you need help, just tap it. It'll release a beacon that my computers will pick up. We'll be sure to send over any help we can. Hey, thanks, man. 
Is that all it does? Oh, no, 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 no. It does a heck of a lot more. But I'll tell you how to access those utilities when you're ready, Renzolian. <laughs> it's like training wheels. Shut up, Geo. Freaking trash can. We need to get moving. Uh, thanks a lot, Prof. And, uh, bye, Camellia. What about Etheria? You gonna say bye to her? Oh. Y y y bye, I, I guess. Hey, uh, Renzo, before you go. What's up? Just, uh, good luck with your bad luck. Keep up the hearing. You're doing a good thing. Don't listen to anybody who tells you otherwise, alright? Alright. Camilio, I need to apologize. What for? When I said that stuff about being, you know, out of your habitat, well, I said that because, because I knew it hurt you. I was so mad at you, and, and I was there when you fought Richter, and... It was a terrible thing to do. I'm so sorry. It's fine, Aferia. The past is the past. And you know, it's no biggie, but I mean, I still have a lot of questions about, well, y you know, you and the watch, and... It's a long story for another time, but all you need to know right now is that I was once very powerful. And after the loss of my husband, and... Well, I was hurt by... by something evil. So... To keep order, I entered this watch, so it could use my natural power over reality for new individuals, my paladins, to protect the multiverse. Something blocked me from talking during the previous paladin's time, and I wasn't able to speak when you became a paladin. Gabriel removed that block just recently. Well, that's kind of a lot, but I'm sure we'll find one time we can sit down and explain everything. Liking the colors, Tahu. Oi! Thanks, man. Green, red, and blue. The colors of Room City. They're great apart, but... Together, beautiful. I agree. They accent you well. <sighs> what is it, Piruk? It's just... I want to act like everything is okay. Like, now after this, Room City's gonna be great. Like, nothing bad will ever happen again. But, that's what I thought last time. And then this happened. The war. The war that never happened. The Tomorrow War. But if we fell into chaos so quickly last time, then what's to say we won't again? W well, I'm here. You're here. I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. I understand it's scary. We have no idea what tomorrow holds. But Piruk, I promise you. I promise you that as long as I'm here by your side, and you're here by mine, everything will be fine. I promi- Effort, effort, effort. 
are not very smart. Now, sister, no! No, no, you monster! I swear to God, we'll rip you apart! No, you won't stay back. He'll kill you. He just killed Nokama. And he'll kill all of you if you don't run. Command your team to fall back, Vakama. I couldn't. You have to. Forget falling back! I'll kill you! Yeah! No! No, 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 no! No, stop! Brutaka, stop! Please! You... had to... No! Altering the course of history! <gasps> Brutaka, I've got to tell you something very important. I need you to listen very carefully. What? I'm you, Brutaka. I'm you from the future. And I need you to promise to do better than I did. Like what you did today, Brutaka. And I need you to promise me you'll never stop protecting your friends, no matter what the odds are. I don't know if I can- Everything you'll ever need is inside of you already, Brutaka. You just have to find it. You have caused me so much pain, so much sorrow, killed so many, and today, today I stop hiding. Today, I'm going to put an end to you, Spectrum! No! Surprise! Supposed to take me right by the elder 
man would do. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I didn't. I should have. I'm my own Rotaka. This story won't the course. I'm so sorry, Rotaka. No Rotaka. matter what the odds are, Rotaka, say something. Everything you'll ever need is inside of you already. Rotaka, say something, please. Just are you okay? Rotaka. 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 Talk to me. Find it. Find what? It's time for part two. Get it done. Of course. Guys, they just disappeared. I think they're up to something. Where'd they go? We gotta find them. We've gotta get some answers. Right. Karzani, you search upstairs. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Liwanuba, Mata, you two search the basement in the garage. That's how scared. We can't what? leave him. I'll stay with him. You go. Look at me, Butaka. We are in serious trouble. This was... it's... it... oh god, it's terrible, I know, but... Utaka, we need to make sure everyone's safe! Find it. I... have to find... I have to find it. Find what? What do you have to find? Nothing. Oh god, oh jeez! Okay, okay, what would Nuju do? What would Nuju do? Brutaka, there's no time! Brutaka! I have to find it. I have to find it. Alright, fish face, we're gonna find that angry rainbow and kick him in the nuts! I'm gonna kick him in the nuts! Kick him right in the shiny rainbow nut! Wait, is that... alcohol? Oh, hey there. I think it's time we... Burned a few bridges. Shake my nerves and you rattle my brains Too much oh, love drives a man insane oh. You broke my will, but what a thrill Goodness me raises green balls of fire I, like the I smell smoke What? Hey guys, I didn't find it OH MY GOD! THE HOUSE IS BURNING DOWN! What the? Oh my freaking god, Carson! What the frick is it? What's happening? The house is on fire! Oh my god, Jesus Alright everyone, listen up! Leonuva, try to find an exit in the garage. Tahu, get the fire hydrant from the laundry room. Likov, round up all the sets in the room. And Piruk, get me a freaking telephone. Well, go! The house is on fire for God's sake! The house is burning down! Okay, sir. You're going to need to calm down. My house is on fire! You calm down! Now that's just rude. Oh, I'm sorry. You see, my house just so happens to be burning around me. I didn't mean to ruin your afternoon! Okay, turn it on. Turn it on? Yeah, turn it on. I don't know how to turn this freaking thing on! What do you mean you don't know how to turn it on? Sorry, this happens to be my first live house burning down! You're a fire guy, you turn it on! 
I don't know how we'll turn it on. Just send somebody! The house is on fire for God's sake! Sir, just tell me your name. My the fire is consuming my home! Fine! It's Brutaka! What? Brutaka! Big Bertha! Big Bert. No! Brutaka! B R U T A K A! Your last name. <sighs> Siri! How do you turn on a fire hydrant? This is stupid. I didn't get that. Told you. Siri! You have found me! Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Siri? Siri! It's on fire. It's not gonna work anymore. Oh my god, Siri's dying! I have to save her! This fire's gonna kill us, and you're crying about Siri? Siri and I had a very close and intimate relationship! Oh my god, I'm gonna die here! I hope you're happy that a bunch of people are going to die and it's all your fault! I'm really sick and tired of this, Lucas. I work my butt off every day and this is what I get. When I get home, I'm gonna throw away every last video game in that disgusting room. Lucas? Who the frick is Lucas? My house is on fire! What are you talking about, woman? Just sit the uh. Wait a minute. She just hung up on me? 911 just hung up on me! We're all gonna die today. Utaka, we have everyone. That's it? Matthias sold most of them. Garage is a no-go. The ceiling just collapsed in it. Oh lord, uh, okay. How soon till 911's here? Well, they're not exactly coming. What? What do you mean they aren't coming? I'm trying my best, Richard! Who the frick is Richard? Everyone, shut up. We have to head for the exit upstairs. Now! Okay, I'm gonna let her rip on the count of three. Two, oh. One. Oh, holy crap. oh, that's not good. Uh, where the frick is Kazani? Well, you know, he turned on a fire hydrant and... Room crash. Out the window. Oh god, Leo, how's the text to Matthias going? Just sent. He... he should take that well. He, he's a smart kid. What the fuck? The exit's right in front of us! Let's go! What about our houses? Our houses are made out of cardboard. They're all gone. Okay, now let's get the frick out of here to safety! Everybody, get in! Rosani, you're our hero! I knew you'd make it, Buck. No, you freaking didn't, Tahu! Shut up! Come on, Brutaka. Let's get out of here. Where are we squeak Christmas? The dog! What do we do? Okay, okay. You guys go. I'll let the dog out! Are you sure? That's suicide. Just go! There she is. Thank goodness she's okay. <laughs> Oh! Ah! Come on, Butaka! We've gotta get the out of here! Skills! D don't worry! I'm getting you out of here! Well, he's freaking dead. Don't say that. He's been in there for so long! Super freaking dead. Deader than donuts! There's no way he's getting out of there. Hey guys! Ah! That's a ghoul! Oh, thank goodness. You're okay. But the house isn't. Watch out! You might get what you're after! Cool, baby! Strange but not a stranger! I'm an ordinary guy! Burning down the house! Hold tight!
<sighs> oh god. Okay. Okay. It's okay, mate. Just breathe in and out. In and out. Like we talked about. In okay. and out. Okay. Okay? In and out. Okay. No visible means of support and you have not seen nothing yet. what you get for trying to grab the doorknob of a burning house. Well, welcome to Room City 2.0, I guess. You give love a bad name. I'll play my part. All right, Prof. Here are those remaining uh, crusher parts you needed. Ah, thank you, Camilio. The crusher took a real hit from that Richter fellow, but I'm pretty excited at this new version I'm working on. Sweet. Hey, uh, listen. I got a mission to get through. Um, I'll see you later, Prof. Good luck on Mark II over there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Camilio. And good luck on your mission. That's a weird one. They've all been pretty freaking weird lately, but hey, whatever. Goodbye, friend! Bye, Prof. Alright! Time to remap those Sonic regulators. Looks like the right signal refrigerator is burned. I might have to get a new one. You can't have one when there's two. No! Prof, you okay? What happened? I heard a shout. Ah, uh, sorry, Camilio. I I just burned myself on the the left signal reflector. My apologies for for worrying you. Oh, jeez, Prof, you klutz. Will you watch out? Spooked me there, man. Uh, I, I am truly sorry, Camilio. I, I didn't mean to distract you. It's all good, man. <sighs> all will be one, and one shall be all. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. So there's evidence. So there's evidence. Time so travel. Time, time travel, travel happening for that much is that much is how many times? How many times? And how does it work? And how does it work? I've got so many got theories. Me. So many theories. It must have gone twice. It must have gone twice. Once as we talk. Once as we talk. Once as Bruttle. Once as Bruttle. One me. That's at least three one timelines. Three timelines. Oh. It's hard to think. It's hard to think. It's hard to think. It's hard to think. My memories are just. My memories are just. Ugh. Ugh. My good friend. <laughs> okay, so maybe this looks a little crazy, but hear me out. Do I really want to? <laughs> maybe not, but uh, I could use your help. I'm having a hard time sorting things out in my mind. How do you mean? Well, you know how when we traveled back to the present after stopping the Tomorrow War? The Tomorrow War? Yeah, that's what Bruttel called it. Anyway, well, you know how once we remind everyone, they started to remember the previous timeline? Yeah? Well, something's happening with me, you see. I think I'm starting to remember Bruttel's original timeline. Everything he said is just flashing stuff in my mind, and now... Having a hard time deciphering what actually happened. I've mostly got it, but every once in a while. Good lord, Butaka, you've got three timelines stuck in your head! Maybe. Anyway, c c can you help me out? Of course. Where do we start? Where do the contradictions. Alright. This is gonna take all night, so get comfortable. Guys, it's been a rough few years. Liam Abata, that is an understatement. I'm still questioning if I was the only one seeing that dragon. And, uh, I know it's been really hard lately with the house burning down and stuff. Matthias burning his hand. That was my first home. You guys were a bit before that, I know, but the dining room table. That's where I was first assembled. That's all I knew. New place doesn't feel right. I mean, it's cool, but it's not home, you know? It's not, it doesn't have all those memories like the old place did. It's also where Lasavik. <sighs> I could never communicate this right. I'm not him, but Lasavik used to always say this thing. He'd say, Losing is a lot easier when you're doing it with friends. We lost a lot recently. But as long as we pick ourselves up again, we'll be okay. Look. I know with everything happening, we haven't had the opportunity really to think about what happened to Nakama. But, I know we've all felt it. She was a great student, a great friend. She may not have said much, but, 
She cared about you all very dearly. She was the best sister. I feel like this is my responsibility. My fault. No, Vikama, it's not our fault. We're powerless to stop it. It's their fault. What? It's the Paladin. The cosmic shadow horror. The damn energy sword wielding psychopath's fault. Ugh. This again? Vakama, you know all of our problems started the moment they showed up. I don't care when they started. You're ignoring all the good Camellio, or whatever his name is, did for us. How about risking his life so that Britaka could go back and save our friends? Save our friends? Like what? Like getting less of it killed by his own stupid vendetta? How about new- Don't you dare bring Nuju into this! Vakama, listen to me. No! I'm sick of listening to you. You're the one who's gotten us into all of this. You're the one who sent us after an enemy we were woefully unprepared for- And then I risked my life trying to fix it. I've been trying to clean up your act, all of yours. When I found you, you were sad and confused. Anuar was the one who told Nuju and Matau off, and one of them got killed because of it. And who the hell knows where Matau is? Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Alright, look, everyone just calm down for a second. You're both saying things you're gonna regret later. Just cool it, okay? No, no, I'm done. I'm sick of this. I don't know why we listened to you to begin with. You're just some Lego toy that came out 13 years ago like the rest of us. I just... I don't know what to do. He's right. I'm just as lost as the rest of you. Ah, Jesus. Look what's happened to us. Hey man, you alright? Not really. I'm just... I'm frustrated. I can't help it, and... I don't know what to do with it. Take it from a guy who's always angry. It's not a good path to go down. It's not you. Hey, hey! Get over here! This census is really important. What if we accidentally left someone at home? Oh, I wonder if there's something over here! Hey! Get back over here! I shall embark into the inquiry of the land! Shut up and get over here! I will discover new lands in the church of old! Shan't stop me! I'm gonna kill him. Uh, looks like you're having a hard time here. You try so hard to get stuff done for the best of everyone, and they all act like morons. Story of my life. Yuri sends a message. What, like on a messenger pigeon? Yes, I am a pigeon. Is it something like a time travel meeting or something? Call it the... like the time council or something? <sighs> okay. Where is it? Welcome to the first annual meeting of the Interstellar Time Council. Since we are the only beings to discover time travel, we are now the gods of the universe and it is our job to manage the great beyond time. First topic, how the frick does time travel work? It's simple. Voodoo. You're fake, frickin' poser. Jonas, bring out the center of the universe relic of yore. This gemstone somehow sent Brutaka and Pira back in time. Everyone, pull out your assigned rock candy and praise the holy crystal. Ahem. The crystal is cool and time travel belongs to no fool. The crystal is cool and time travel belongs to no fool. The crystal is cool and time travel belongs to no fool. The crystal is cool and time travel belongs to no fool. Okay, enough of this! How about we- Okay, okay. Can I have some of the rock candy? 
things. Okay! How about we actually try and figure out how time travel works? Look, I've seen at least three and a half of the Terminator movies and a few episodes of Doctor Who, so I think I'm a little knowledgeable on the topic. Also, I went back in time once. Actually, twice. Once as an old man and once as the young stud you see before you. In the future when I went back in time. But if it's in the future, then you haven't gone back in time yet. Yeah, but I already did since Bruttle has been here for like five years. But you aren't Bruttle yet. Bruttle went back in time twice, but you've only gone back in time once. Right, everybody? Shut up! Oh crap, it's this asshole again. None of you idiots have any idea what you're talking about. Um, have you gone back in time? Because I have twice! Yeah? Well, I read a book on it! <gasps> Whoa, he read a book! Like a science book? You bet your freaking butts! Straight up quantum mechanics and all that jazz! Whoa. Written by the most groundbreaking genius of our time, Professor Dave Pelkey. He sounds smart! That's cause he is! Where's this book? We should probably all read it! Sounds like it could be a great resource! What's it called? Captain Underpants and the Terrifying Return of Tippy Tickle Trousers! What? Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, we're all screwed. You guys don't know what you're talking about. This book is ingenious! Kozani... It's about two characters called Captain Underpants and Tippy Tinkle Trousers. It's definitely not ingenious! You're all just too stupid to understand the in-depth thematic implications of the characters and their arcs throughout the series. What initially comes across as a series for children actually has depth and well-written character personalities who grow and change. It even takes on some intense sci-fi concepts, including the multiverse which explores alternate versions of our realities and provides reflections for the characters. So, duh, it's basically art! Huh. Sounds scarily familiar. Yeah, well, whatever you're talking about has nothing on Captain Underpants. What does any of this have to do with time travel? I'm getting to that! It's simple. The book explains it. Explains what? The banana cream pie paradox! Cranberry key lime applesauce? Now I'm hungry. No! The banana cream pie paradox! Here it is! Now all of you chums better listen up, alright? The banana cream pie paradox is a scientific example of how time travel can be extremely dangerous. It proves that it's possible if a person goes back in time and changes one teeny tiny little thing, it can ultimately alter the future, whether it will be good or bad. So we got this scientist guy, who lives in the year 2020, and he made a banana cream pie using bananas that he collected from his very own banana tree. For absolutely no reason, he decides to take his banana pie into a time machine and zap himself back to the year 1936. <clears throat> as soon as the scientist guy arrives in 1936, he accidentally trips and smashes his banana cream pie into a lady's face at a fancy garden party. Fire in the, hole! <laughs> the lady is pretty ticked at that scientist guy, so she wipes a handful of the banana cream pie filling from her face and throws it at the scientist. The scientist ducks and the banana goose smacks into the face of a fancy man standing nearby. A waitress laughs at the fancy man and now he's mad. So he wipes the banana goo from his face and smacks it onto the waitress's face. And the waitress says, Well, I've never been so insulted in all my life. Then we got this chubby bald guy saying, You gotta get out there more lady. Knock, knock, knock. Why don't you mind your own business, bird brain? Said another man as he poked the chubby bald guy in the eyes and falls backward onto the scientist's banana tree, which at that time, it was only a sapling in 1936. The banana tree snapped in half and died. Now, if the scientist's banana tree died in 1936, it could never grow up and produce bananas. Therefore, the scientist would have never had the main ingredient he used to make his banana cream pie in the year 2020. Consequently, the banana cream pie could not exist. In conclusion, you gotta be really, really, really careful when you're time traveling, because one simple change in the past could affect the future, and possibly destroy the entire planet. Wow. I didn't pick up on any of that. What just happened?
Let's just move on and pretend like that moment didn't exist. Okay, so I'd like to come to you all with my idea. Oh, frick you guys too then, freaking losers. Too stupid to understand Dave Pelkey. Well, what if we jump back in time to when the evil rainbow guy attacked us? We could ambush him! Save our friends! Save brother! Save... me. Would that affect our future? Would it create another timeline altogether? Well, if we're going by Terminator logic, then it's all one self repairing timeline. And then we're A-OK. -okay. But if it's like Back to the Future, then it creates a new timeline every time we change the past! Would changing the past even affect the future? Well, it has to! Because when Brutaka went back Which in time, she changed the future. But did he Tom create a new timeline? Kill each other or we just did an alternate hell timeline created by Brutaka altering the past? Or, that means it's like Terminator don't like I frickin' said, and They're going back in time doesn't time create a new timeline. It just alters one single self repairing timeline. I am so lost right now. If I hear the word timeline one more time, I'm gonna kill somebody. Piruk! <laughs> it's great to see you, my friend. We were discussing a proposition I had. We could save our friends! You mean using Daisy in the time interval again to go back again to stop that chrome mask maniac from killing our friends. Yeah, I heard it. Yes! It's a good idea, don't you think? No! I think it's a terrible idea! What? We only have enough time in our left to make one more trip through time. A one-way ticket. Even if we were to go back, we'd have no way back! Oh! Well, what about that Camilo guy? Can't he time travel whenever he wants with that thing on his arm? He could help us! Oh, you got his number? Why don't you give him a call right now, Brutaka? No, but... Can't we... I mean, we could... We... Oh, no. We have no way of contacting him! I can't believe you're just now realizing that. Well, uh, well... Not to mention, the implications of changing the past again! Need I remind you that the last time we went back in time, something equally, if not more terrible than the Tomorrow War happened, with that psychopath killing our friends and then burning down our house? Putting not just us, but great beings, humans in danger? Matthias could have gone killed! He burned his hand for God's sake! Wait a minute. You're not saying that is somehow our fault, are you? It's a theory I've been reading on. The time is like a river. You can throw rocks or twigs into it, but ultimately it keeps flowing. You can't create a big enough change to affect the flow of the current. You can't change enough to prevent inevitable events from happening. In every version of our future, something horrible would have happened to us. We might be able to subtly change it, but it is our destiny. And Rutaka, I refuse to risk making things worse. I refuse to change the past so much, we end up living in some hellscape of a timeline. We saved everybody! That's nonsense! You told me about your meeting with Brutal. Didn't he say that he wasn't strong enough to change the future? That even he was helpless to stop it? Well, yes, but... I mean, what if we just keep going back in time again and again until we destroy our reality so much that we end up living in the worst possible timeline? You might want to risk that, but I don't. We have a magic time warping rock, Piruk. There has to be some way to fix this. I'm done making things worse. I'm done taking risk. I've put everyone through too much already. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm not. Give me the crystal, Piruk. No. What the? Something has me! Piruk! I'll just take this silly little crystal off your hands. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh god, oh god! What the- HOLY FRICK, GIVE IT BACK! How long have you been here? <laughs> long enough to tell you that this little powwow you're all having is pointless. You idiots will never understand the in-depth ins and outs of time travel, the causes, the effects, you're too foolish. <laughs> so naive to greater, larger, ancient forces at work in this inconceivably vast multiverse. You have no idea what's in store for you, but I do, oh I do. And you'll never guess what faces you at the end of this twisted little pathetic path that is your lives. No? No! Dang it! Ah! 
people hate us! It's like we're always one step behind! We have to go after him! I mean, come on! We can't just let him leave with it! G guys, something's wrong with Kazani! Oh, not again! Not again! Kazani! What's the matter? I don't know. I just... I, I, I can't breathe. I don't... I don't... Oh, God! I just... Jesus, I he's can't. having a panic attack. Come Come on, on, I can't take any of this. It's, uh, can't don't worry, man. We got your back, okay? It's, it's gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna be okay, Karzani. Just don't worry, Karzani. I'm going to do something about I it. I can't take this. I just ha I have to call you. We're falling apart at the seams, Piruk. We can't be expected to handle everything that's happened to us reasonably, Brutaka. No one would expect that of us. I did. I thought that if I kept fighting, if I kept trying to do the right thing without stopping, that I would be able to outrun the pressure. I'd make it to... I'd make it to a big, beautiful clearing. And... Uh, breathe a sigh of relief, but... The truth is, I'm not doing any better than Kazani. I'm... Just better at hiding it. Would expect that of us. We thought we can beat these things. After the cult, we fell invincible. We were heroes, just for one day. But truth is, as things escalated, we got tied up in something way, way beyond the capabilities of a couple of old broken toys. We aren't protectors of the universe, Brutaka. We aren't superheroes or mythical beings. We're just old to So, what do we do? We just give up? Throw in the towel, stop trying, accept what we are, and move on. Like everyone else like us does. Boys. No. We be there for each other, till the end of the path. We may be powerless to stop the greater forces at work in our world, powerless to fight an intangible evil, but we do have the power to help each other. Like Karzani, we were there for him, and now after some rest, he'll be okay. You just gotta be there. Till the end of the path. Till the end of the path.
they're completely clueless. Their friends are dead, their city is in rubble, and their home haunts them. All of the pieces are perfectly in place, my Reege. But they almost weren't. Pardon, Reege? For a time, a second, a single moment, almost everything we've been working so hard to plan fell apart. I think you grandiose their accomplishments, my liege. You do? Sir, I... I merely... You think I'm exaggerating what they did? They displaced time, warped reality, altered history. They took everything I've foreseen, everything I've built, everything I've strived so hard, at great cost to put in place, and because of your incompetence, they almost sent a top wing straight to the ground! I won't let this happen again. We won't let this happen again. Is that crystal clear? Yes, Rij. It's Pratraka. He gives them courage, hope. We need to crush him. If we break their shining gold beacon of light, if we show them exactly what happens to those who are foolish enough to hope, they'll fall to their knees like the pathetic servants they are. We'll suck every piece of light out of them. How should I kill him? You're not going to kill him. You're going to cripple him. That was a lot harder to get out than I expected. Whoa. I... I don't know what to say. The way Brataka put it, wasn't anywhere close to how... Wow! It's alright, you can take it in for a minute. I've got a lot of time on my hands recently. Well, first off, what the heck was this deal with Professor Eon you made all about? Alright, look, he was moving some equipment in and needed help, and I was like, man, this is really heavy, I could use a strength potion or something. And he was like, haha, if you get me the special fairy leaf from the magical forest, maybe I can witchcraft one together and ship it over to you. And I guess he was kidding or whatever, but I really wanted a strength potion, and I accidentally stepped in a puddle that day, and look, I was just being a butthole, I get it frig off. Well, okay then. It's been a real pleasure, Mr. Contrast. No, Mr. Contrast was my dad's name. Yeah. In your name, too. That's how names work. I should have had Geode here today. I've just got one last question for you, Rinzolian. What's that? Got any leads? Any leads? About Camellio? Sorry, kid. I've got nothing. I haven't heard from him in ages. Man, I hope he's alright. I heard about the whole Paladin No More thing. Is that really true? What they say? You're my last hope to find out just that, Mr. Contrast. Well, what about- Professor Eon won't tell me a thing about his location. No, no, I mean, you can ask her. Her? If you don't know who I'm talking about when I say her, you aren't exactly the Camellio expert you make yourself out to be. You mean the emo chick? Ghosty. You know where she is? After she went to that fancy pants school, she isn't exactly hard to find. Holy hypercrash, that's it! What'd you say? Next stop, university!